Well, street battles and gunfire erupted again in the Burundi capital on Thursday as protesters uh, against President Pierre Nkurunziza rejected his calls for calm in the East African nation, an ethnic uh, tinderbox with a long history of civil war and genocide. Soldiers and police fired tear gas and warning shouts in the air as they faced off against uh, scores of young men throwing rocks and burning makeshift barricades in the roads. One man was shot in the head by a bullet while another was hit in the leg. Thursday's violence followed night of a heavy gunfire in the restive neighborhood of Musaga, where residents spoke of several hours of running battles between police and gangs of youth. You see, these are the things that are just happening now. It is not right. It is not right, ma'am. They come to the homes of people, families with children and kill citizens when citizens are just asking for a better life. No, no, no. These things should not exist at all. We have to stop these acts. Burundi is tired. We want just peace. This is a person who has just been killed in front of our eyes. We are asking U.S. President Barack Obama and the rest of the world to rise up and be seen. They need to stop this man. Well, in, state, in a state television uh, address late on Wednesday, Nkuruziza stressed the need for national unity, saying uh, that Burundi's violent past, including a civil war that only ended in 2005 after the deaths of 300,000 people, could not be ignored. The protesters dismissed his words as a charade. 